One of the most important post-apostolic Christian thinkers was Augustine, an Algerian from a well-to-do family. His mother, Monica, was a committed Christian who prayed for Augustine all his life and urged him to live in a way worthy of the holy God. She warned him of moral pitfalls as he headed to boarding school at age 11. Unfortunately, he ignored her advice, slipping into petty thievery and sexual immorality as a teen. His academic prowess, however, won him a rhetoric scholarship in Carthage and teaching positions in Rome and Milan. He rejected the omnipotent God of Christianity for belief in dualism, where gods of good and evil are equal rivals. Monica begged her bishop to intervene with her prodigal son. The bishop declared that it is not possible that the son of so many prayers and tears should be lost. Augustine became famous as an orator and professor of rhetoric, but continued his immoral life. He later stated that his mother's prayers had watered the ground daily during his years of spiritual wandering. Now a widow, Monica moved to Milan with Augustine and introduced him to the foremost orator of the day, Bishop Ambrose. Monica convinced Augustine grudgingly to give up his mistresses. He prayed, God grant me chastity, but not yet. At age 31, Augustine accepted Christ as his Lord and Savior. He prayed, Belatedly I loved you, you did call and cry aloud, and did force open my deafness. You did gleam and shine and chase away my blindness. I pant for you. Monica lived long enough to see her son enter God's kingdom. After three decades of her anguished prayers, Augustine's writings became the anchor of the medieval church. He always declared that any fruitfulness he had was a result of his mother's faithful prayers.